Well, we picked up something. And we spent a lot of my personal savings account on this toy, what's so called. And Buck is probably about to freak out right about now. Let's see if we can pull this through the driveway here. She's a heavy load. What on earth did you go and buy now? I don't have any money, Buck. It all came out of my savings account. It is all gone. The kids' is college fund, everything. All for this truck. A Good 19... thing I finally got my account separated from you. A 1971 F-250 high boy come and swapped. It has 10,000 miles on the pickup. Eight-year-old truck. You know what? Sounds to me like Uncle Bobby probably screwed you over. It was expensive, not gonna lie. We are not gonna drive this truck. It is not gonna be used for farm use. It is only gonna be used on the street and for going to get ice cream or something, but not in the cab. That's it. That's it. Not even this in is, the bed? Th nope, nope, not even in the bed. This is a well, weekend. How long are you gonna go get the ice cream? This is weekend warrior truck. Watch, so, are your feet clean? Explain, explain me this one, bud. Riddle me this. It's not going to be used to tow anything. It's not going to be used to came and have ice cream in it. But why do you have um, a gooseneck? Well, that was there previously. Okie dokie then. It's a 12 valve come and swapped. It's a come and swapped engine out of a semi that the guy previously put in here. I might have needed that lift just to get the dang oil pan with to a, clear. With an aftermarket five speed tranny. Oh boy. That is a bad mamma jamma. So let me get this straight. You bought a pickup truck. Don't be tipping that, please. You bought a pickup truck to do nothing a pickup truck does. Is that what I'm understanding here? I can't hear you over this. Cummins. Oh, you're gonna be rubbing your fender over here. Watch your bumper. Getting close. There you go. Well, now you might curb rash it if you fall off the side. Could drop off here in just a second. Basically, give her, give her the beans so you're not scraping the rim. There you go. You bought a pickup truck to not do anything a pickup truck does. Well, well, we can drive around people still. I can haul your big butt on the back of there. Well, I can't even fit in the bed. My left <laughs> side takes up the fender well. True, true. Buck, but, this but, thing, but, hear me out. It's 1978. If I just hold this in this shed, okay, it only has 10,000 miles. 30 years later, 2010's decade, it's worth 100 grand. You do realize Heck, this because, is, you, you do realize that this is like the most produced vehicle in the U.S., the F-Series? Yeah, everybody drives them and treats them like crap. This one is going to stay beautiful. This one's going to stay nice. We're not going to do anything like it, it, what I just did to harm it. It doesn't it. matter, though. There's still thousands of these things being made. Just because it's got a six-inch lift kit and mud boggers don't mean it's going to be $60,000 in 30 years. I think you want to bet? You want to bet? Yeah, I really do. If we're laying in the nursing home and you got a million dollar paycheck off of some car auction, then I will laugh. Then you can laugh and die in your chair while I'm over there croaking trying to... There's no way this truck's going to gain that much value with that, that amount of time. Yep, yep. 30 years from now, I'm going to sell this to some 16-year-old kid that has daddy's money, and he's going to pay a hundred grand for it, Buck. Sell this to a 16-year-old? Dude, this thing's going to get wrapped around a pole in about 15 seconds. You know how this classic car stuff works. True. It's She's, she's a beauty. We're not going to... We're going to... I'll, I'll give it that. We're going to... Keep going. We're going to... We're just going to take care of her. Keep her in the shed. It is going to stay in that shed only on weekends. It will be taken out. And we'll only put 30 miles a weekend on her. At max. Wait, take, so I get to drive the thing? You, take her for a spin, Buck. I'm kind of surprised you went and bought a manual. Am I going to hit your trailer back there? Keep going. 
I can't see anything. Oh, good. All right, I'll be back. I think Buck's liking her. I think she's going to be a good investment. Okay, we can maybe use it for some miscellaneous farm stuff, like pulling the hay rack, some stuff. But we gotta take care of her, okay? Say, it's not gonna be worth 60 grand in 40 years, but we can still take care of it. That's obviously a thing we want to do. I mean, we don't really want to go, you know, jump this thing off the riverbank. You see the interior? Bench yeah. seats? It's clean. Five speed? Man, it wasn't even smoked in. I'm surprised. Okay, I'm Buck. Go. I'm gonna park her. Alrighty then. So this is actually a mod that Anselmo made. So shout out to Anselmo for making this. I think the guy's gonna release it here soon. He's just finishing up a lot of different. He's finishing up a couple different stuff on, stuff on it. So it's not uh, completely finished. But I think this is gonna be out for public eventually. I have no idea when, but it's a heck of a mod. Kick mine to the curb, that's for certain. I'm gonna get the baler hooked up and we got about five acres of hay to bale up here. It's been sitting, it's been tid, it's been raked, uh, and this is ready to go. I just need Buck. I need Buck's help. He's gonna run the rack for me back here. Or I'll run the rack and he'll drive the tractor. We'll figure it out. I think we're gonna use, well, I think we're gonna use the 1206. We got the 656, or the, we got the 706 hooked up to that tether back there. We'll use the 1206 for this. Get the PTO and hitch disconnected. We're gonna drop the loader off this. She's a little dirty. We'll clean her up a little bit. Honestly, I'd say we're about probably a month out from harvest. We're not far and we could probably be chopping silage soon for the cattle. We're getting a little low on chaff, but right now, actually, once we chop silage, we're gonna, we could actually add a couple more cattle to the, uh, to the herd here, a couple more calves at least to feed them out. Get the pin in there. I need my right hand man, Buck. Um, he's down at his house mowing right now, so we're gonna take a well. We could take the new ah, screw it. We're gonna take the new pickup down there. Put her in gear. Here's Buck's place. Oh, he's out mowing. Ah, I missed some. Come on, Buck. A five-year-old can mow better than that. Oh, he is going quick, pretty quick, though. I'll give him that. So what exactly do you need now? James could mow better than that, Buck. Come on now, he's five years old. It's not about how fast you can mow, it's how well you mow fast. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, so... I'm not mowing very well fast. We got, <laughs> we, Buck, we have to... Uh, we have to uh, you want to run the tractor? I'll, I'll run the rack. We got to make some bales quick. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, I think, Kathy said. You so. hurt your what? It's supposed to rain tomorrow, Kathy said. No, before that. I said I'd run the rack. Oh, you're... <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to film like, run the rack I on what? I hurt my you're what? Go and we gotta do some bailing, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get this spot here. Okay, we're good. You like uh, it? That was probably one of our best purchases. That Alice Chalmers. I love Alice. Oh, this is my own. Uh, yeah, Austin. Well, it's actually Austin's. He, uh... He basically just said, yeah, I'm not going to be using this thing as much. He's already back out of state. I think they got it. I think he's being deployed again. Oh. 
Huh. So I, he just said it's not going to be any use, so I ended up taking it. Okay. Okay. Well, you want to drive the lawnmower over? Might as well. Mow the ditches while you're at it on the way over. Huh. <laughs> right. You, this guy <laughs> just takes up the whole road on his mower. <laughs> hey, hurry it up, Grandma! I got three speeds, here, there, and backwards. This thing ain't going in. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I wasn't looking. We actually got the whole thing mowed yesterday, trying to get around all these weeds. We had to move a lot of the trailers, stuff like that. Well, if you want to run the tractor, I'll jump on the hay rack. Keep running it. I'll stack. Oh, and you're telling me that I can't mow right. Well, how about you missing the tetan spot over here? Yeah. I was drinking a little bit. That day, that afternoon. This shouldn't hopefully take too much. He's a coming! Yep! We got luck! Okay. I'll give it to you. You've gotten a lot better at doing the tetting on these things. A little bit better. Kind of. Are you. Oh, you can bring that shoot with the cable. Yeah. I'll catch it if it goes overboard. Starting to sweat right now. Sure would be nice for a nice lemonade with cat if Kathy brought some out. Go for a sweet tea. Sweet tea would be nice too. Heck a beer or something. Clinch the thirst. Maybe you got like an auto unloader or something, like a belt to get these things out of here. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Dad always says how easy we have it now run a hay rack and stuff and how easy it is out here. And he had, what did he have? He, he wrapped them by hand with, with with string, right? Back in the day, manually? Pretty much. And he's always complaining how easy we have it run the rack. I wonder what kids are going to think 20 years from now when they're doing this. They're probably going to have automatic stuff. At some point. Heck, I even wonder, I mean, I think... I wonder if New Holland or any of them are trying to figure out whether or not how to make like a round, like just bigger bales in general. Yeah. I mean, these tiny bales, they're not bad. I know we can buy them big. I know you can, like, buy them from, uh, like, just bigger strings. It's like they string four of these things together, but. Yeah. That's something we need to invest in as a swather. Yeah, no, I agree, because we got two of them. We don't need two of them. Oh! I got it, I got it, I got I it. The cable the wrong just way. go, just go, I'll catch. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta readjust. I missed a spot, too, trying to figure that out. This cable's a pain in the butt. We gotta label which way is left and right. Are you? Oh, oh, buck, oh. buck! It no. caught. I got him. I got him. This game. Yeet. 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 Pull forward. Pull forward. You're gonna get hit in the face of them now. Oh god. <laughs> I told you you're gonna uh, eat it. This is dodging hay bales up here now. So basically, you're playing that new Donkey Kong game up uh, there. Is what I'm. Is from what I'm hearing. Oh, good. oh no! Wow. We got one. I got it. Whoop. If it goes, if it's about to go over, I'll catch it up here. Got it. Okay, we got it loaded. That should work. Just keep her slow. Keep her steady. She's a little tippy. Hey, Buck. You need help? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't help. But you kind of got your own bales you got to start throwing, so. You gonna unload your own. <laughs> hey, I'm making it go faster. By, oh, 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 party foul. Uh, Dude, your truck's going to tip. <laughs> it's good. It's totally good, man. Somebody should make a ratchet strap brand that's called it's not going anywhere 
<laughs> they do. It's called the ones that have the tag to say "Made in America." Oh yeah. Give that thing two tugs and go. Yep, that ain't going anywhere. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of new pickup and some bailing we got done. Probably next video we're we're probably gonna get on to some. Heck, we might be chopping silage here. It's getting August. It's getting pretty close to chopping silage here. So, heck, we might be doing that. But, anyways, thanks for watching. And, hey, we'll see you next one. Thanks, guys. Hey, hurry it up, Grandma. I got three speeds here, there, and backwards. This thing ain't going in. Oh, shoot. I needed a dog! <laughs> <laughs>